that was a really good fight. I really enjoyed, especially the first half, the amount of weapon work that went into that fight. Which is also nice because of what happens after Super with a specific character and then comes to like weapons. But I'm really enjoying how much mileage mileage they're getting out of Goku using his staff again. It's been really nice and this see the Guardian using his hammer and then all the techniques <laughs> and then the fight going hard enough to where Goku was I don't think he fully went Super Saiyan 2 but it was like on the edge like he had the lightning but it didn't feel like it was all the way there which means the next two fights with the other two Guardians will be interesting because the next one will probably push him to go all the way and then the last one will probably have him go three. But other than that, that was just a great fight. Got the Dragon Ball, played with one of those, you know, games you know are rigged with the ball under the cup. That was cool. And then the other half, where we get more lore. Find out why uh, Supreme Kai's people left the realm. And would that the fact that Bobby D Bobby D didn't make Majin Buu. He might have had like all these different abilities and the whole bringing the evil out of people and controlling them. Yeah, that was him. But Majin Buu? No. And when you think about it, that makes sense. Because if he did create Majin Buu, why did he come back to get him instead of making a new one. And never crossed my mind before. But I mean, you guess you can wave that away by saying, well, we already had this. And he knew a way to free it. So he didn't need to make a new one. But given what we learned, that it kind of does bring the question why didn't he make a new one instead of coming to get Majin Buu? But I doubt it's because, well, he basically commissioned this person to make it. It wasn't perfect as far as she said. Supreme Kai's sister is working with this lady to make a new one. Or a Majin, to be exact. Who will be connected to her. Now, she wasn't necessarily expecting that part until, you know... The witch, or whatever you want to call it, told her to add a part of herself into it, essentially, so they could communicate and all these other things. And try to make this one a little more tame compared to Majin Buu, who wasn't and had no real control. But was powerful enough to drive the other Supreme Kai's people out of the realm and also kill some. But she stayed there. She said she was an artist, a good one. But not enough to make the Majin. So, we got this lady. Who will probably not make it by the time this is over. Maybe. Because making something like Majin Buu and then whatever she's making now. That's dangerous. Now, she's not, you know, going out of her way to be evil or anything. She just had people come to her and ask her to make things. And she just doing a job. But still, to have created something like that and not, well, what she said, from what she's saying, it wasn't like necessarily on purpose. It was a fluke. Even then. But I'm curious to see what it was going, what it's going to look like. You saw in the clouds that it had all the versions of Boo. So, I'm curious to see what happens next. Uh, everyone's getting caught up because people are partying for, because of what happened with Goku and the Dragon Ball. Other than that, it was a really great episode. I can't wait to see the next one. This has been a great adventure.